I try to hide it, but the government is coming. Aliens are real, bro. <laughs> What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to Have a Beer with Obi. I am here with the champion of the Second Amendment, the godfather of rednecks, Matt Carricker. Thank you for being here. Yeah man, thanks yeah. for having me in, in my own handshake. place. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Bunker Branding Warehouse where I am uh, an employee. Uh, you're more of a boss, I would say. I'm a boss. Yeah, so. like you help run this place for sure. Yeah. So I figured it'd be a great time for us a to founder, sit down. A founder. One of the founding fathers. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So I thought it'd be great for us to sit here and get to know Matt a little bit, aside from all the shoot 'em up bang bang stuff, and you guys get to see the Matt that I get to see, which is actually my favorite Matt. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Here you go, bud. Have oh, yourself. I don't drink. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you'll drink this one, man. <laughs> oh wait, are we shotgun it? What are we doing? This first one? Yeah, I think this first one we should shotgun. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna borrow your knife. I gotta too. make sure I'm doing it the right way here. I haven't shotgunned a beer in a long time. I haven't shotgunned one in like three days. <laughs> three days? That's not a lie. When we open this place up, we all shotgunned a beer. This is my hero. <laughs> you guys wonder why I stick stick with this guy? That doesn't mean I'm good at it. We just, just did it. Oh, you're doing it wrong. Tilt it, tilt it. God, what an amateur. Come on, man. There we go. I got it. I got this. <laughs> I know how to do it. I just needed a little spritz. <laughs> all uh, right. So, cheers, man. Cheers. You're just dumping it. <laughs> I'm everywhere. not, I'm not. Whoa. Well, if you take away how much I poured on the floor. I mean, I didn't spill a drop, just so you know. Uh, we're pretty even. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. I how about we sip on this next one? I'll teach him how to shotgun someday. <laughs> it's my show and he's going to show me how to drink beer. <laughs> Thank you, Natty Light, for sponsoring this, by the way. Very good. Very good. Really good. So I wanted to actually first start talking about, uh, I'm sure everybody always wants to talk about how you got started and, and where you came from and everything. Obviously, I know. I know you, you, were, you were a vet. You were very passionate about animals. You were working, you took over your father's clinic, right? Yep. And then and then you moved into YouTube. Now, when you started doing YouTube, did you think that that, that was gonna be the thing? Or like, was how did that go, that transition from, from being a vet to being a, a YouTube icon? So, oh, well, that was, that was strong words. Uh, I said those words, <laughs> Matt won't talk like no. that. So when I was, I actually started YouTube when I was in vet school. And uh, I was doing it as a hobby, just for fun. And my goal with it was to just make enough money that I could buy ammo. I was like, my hobby was shooting, and I was like, if I can make enough money on YouTube to cover my hobby's expenses, my wife won't get mad at me. Nice. And so that was really the plan, and then it just kind of kept growing from there. So yeah. it was to keep Mayor from being upset. Totally, yeah. That's, that's a good plan. Because that... we, we had no money. We were, we were just out of college. We had spent all of our money on college, and then we had a bunch of debt. And she did not want me to go buy ammo, you know? Like, she was like, that's dumb. And so I was like, if I can make money, then we'll be good. Right, she can't be so, upset if, if you're making the money for the ammo. I was like, I gotta go to work, babe, and I'd go out <laughs> shooting. That was the plan. Now, now is that where the, the whole don't tell Mare came from? No, I, so, I had like a normal collection of firearms back in the day, like, I had a shotgun and a deer rifle and, AR and a couple pistols and then like after you have that normal amount and then you start buying extra guns they don't really make sense like I, I can't justify it to her like why I need two ARs right, right. and so like I, it just became a joke on the channel where I'd get another AR and I would tell the channel like hey guys y'all be cool don't tell Mary about I'm like me and you we're talking about this thing but I she doesn't need to know and that's where it all started. Just, nice. It was a joke that just spiraled out of control. <laughs> well, I mean, it's for me, it's one of the most common messages I get on my thing. Like, hey, by the way, don't tell Mayor. Yep. Don't, yep. Let, don't let Mayor know. So I, it's stuck for sure. <laughs> now, um, one, of the, one of the things that I love about your channel is you, not, not, not to label, not, not, to, not to put us in a box, but you've got to be considered 
you're you're an oddity for YouTube. You're not you're not following in the trends. You're not doing what's easy. You're you're about guns and explosions and that. I mean, as far as not, as far as Demo Ranch goes, yep. not off the ranch, but yep. as far as Demo Ranch goes, the, your platform that started you. You're following your communication, the people that, that, I mean, I've seen people fly from all around the world to come to tiny little Bernie to go yep. to a gun shop to meet you. And, and they're from everywhere and, and they could, they have different backgrounds, different ideas on, on what's right and wrong, but they all communicate and it's like a, a form of love and respect. It just, it flat, flat across the board. It's, it's insane to see. And I'm wondering like how you cultivated such a positive group out of out of uh, such an, a non conformative channel sure well you are you're extra extra flattering today like thank you i don't think that you like are going above and beyond and like you're not really he's not telling the truth like, <laughs> well, but, okay don't don't challenge me because I, I have facts i can i mean but uh, the, i saw people come in from all around the world to see you i know you're being you're, you're playing it down because you're very low-key and you're a good guy but you do you have a very positive group well and i i think that's i think that's why me and you get along so well is because you're you're generally a super happy like fun like just you're always in a good mood you know like and i think that's how i am too is like i always see the positive and everything and i i like having fun and i like being happy and i don't hear you like whining and complaining about stuff i see you going and getting stuff done and you're just always you're always fun to hang out with and happy mm. and that's how i like to be too and i like to surround myself with that and i like my videos to look like that like i i don't want to make a boring video where people are like seeing that like my day sucks like no one wants to watch that they right. want to watch like the best and so i I try to show them like the fun parts of my day and try to bring them along with me. And I think that brings an audience, the Demolitia, that also enjoys being happy and having fun and being nice. And I mean, all the guys we surround ourselves with, you know, you and all the other guys that we all hang out with in our little group, I think we all have that common bond that we're just happy, easy to get along with guys. Like there's no beef in the group. There's no one who's like trying to be better than anyone else. Like we're all happy to see each other succeed and grow. And, and like, I think it's fun. Yeah. And, and so I, think, I try to do that. I try to just be happy, just like you, I think. I mean, that it, seems it like exactly how you are. For me, what really drew me to you is your go-get-it attitude. Yep. Like, it, you had a situation where you wanted to do something, and instead of trying to find someone else to handle it for you or, or trying to find a way that it could be easy, you just started doing it, and you were doing it yourself yep. until you figured it out, and you made it work. And, and to me, that's what America's all about. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, for sure. So. I think you're doing the same thing. Like when I met you, like you were like struggling to come up in the strongman world. Actually, you had already, you, by the time I met you, you had already done it. But like you were still like struggling to get on the social media world right. when I met you. You were already like at the top in the strongman world and you're struggling to make it on the social media because you saw that vision that like that's the next step for me. And now look at you, you made it happen, you know, like you're there. It's been, it's been a, a, a different type of work ethic. Yeah. And I, I, I learned from watching guys like, like you and, and, the, and our crew. We, we've got this really cool crew that just, you know, encompasses that whole idea yeah. of if you want it, go get it. For sure, for sure, um, I agree. Your other channel, Off The Ranch, which as far as channels go, like it's, it's so cool to see someone who has such a successful channel like Demolition Ranch, to then come out and branch off and, and be like, all right, well, this one's got no guns, no nothing. This is just me, my friends, my family, and we're going to mess around. We're going to do all the, the silly fun stuff that's, that has nothing to do with the Second Amendment. Yep. And now, when you, when you did that, first off, I wonder what made that happen? And then what were the unique challenges in not only having two two channels that you have to, to create content for, but having two channels that... One of them is is very much uh, Second Amendment of, of guns and, and explosions and all that, yep. and the other one has to be obviously completely separate from right. it. Two parts. Um, one is I've, I I'm not someone who spends a hundred the hundred percent of their time doing guns and gun related stuff. You know, I do a bunch of other stuff, and I was like, I have a lot more things that I like to do that I think are interesting enough to make videos about. Um, so I thought I have more to offer, so I should show that. But also, I was worried, I mean, it was probably two years ago when YouTube was really cracking down on gun videos, I was worried my whole channel was going to get deleted. And that was the only thing I had was Demolition Ranch, you know, a few years ago. And I was like, if that's gone, I'm out. Like, I, I got I to gotta go back to being a full-time veterinarian 
which should be okay, but I really like making videos. Like I love that creative outlet. And so yeah. I was like, you know, it's kind of a safety net to have a secondary channel, but it also was just, I thought I can make cool videos in other ways besides pew pew videos. Yeah. That was now, the plan. now because you have that one and it's, it's kind of a newer one, not kind of, it is a newer one. Now, is that one tend to be more exciting for you now? Does the other one starting to get like to where you're like, oh, another gun video? Or no, is, it, they, is it still? They both, like, I'll, I'll make too many videos in a row on one and I'll be like, I need to go make some of the other because I'm bored with this. And I'll go make some of the other and I'm like, I miss making gun videos. And I'll mm. go back over there. And, and so it, it allows me to like never be bored. Because awesome. I mean, like this, this building we're in, I built a lot of it showing the progress on the Off the Ranch channel. And so that was right. really fun that I could show a part of my life, a part of that day, you know, but I couldn't show that on Demolition Ranch. No one wants right. to see what kind of flooring we put in in the warehouse on right. Demolition Ranch. So just a, just another avenue to kind of show what we're up to. Well, and it's like it's like your, your house that you bought, the mansion. Yeah. So you, you uh, for those of you guys who don't know, you got this beat up, busted out mansion that's been for sale forever yep. and then you started renovating it and and the turnout for that those videos and the love i mean I, it's, it's i didn't know it was gonna blow up like it just it took off and it's doing so much better than i thought yeah i was hoping people would want to watch it and like it's just been people love it yeah it's people awesome. people talk about that just as much as the other stuff now it's yeah you're, you're basically really cool you're, you're a contractor and a gun guy almost <laughs> equally yeah it's crazy it's cool i yeah and it's People are people are always like, how do you do it all? I don't. I have help. I have so much help. I mean, you right. you know all the inner workings. Like this bunker branding business, I don't run the day to day here. Like I've got I've got the best friends and family all here making this work. You know, and so I'm just really good at networking, using people who I really know and love and trust to to come help me build these things. I'm just the face of it who gets to take all the credit. Yeah, yeah. You've collected a good crew, and I know. I know what that takes. We've got our camera guys and stuff in it. So I, I actually learned from you how to surround myself with people who are the same the same style, where they're, they're want, ready to I put it out. I want 10% of whatever you're doing. 10%. You yep. could have 10% uh, of you guys go like his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the other 90%, yeah, you can too. Stay away. Go, go. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> no, I, I just, I was always so impressed with like, it just seems like your energy for life is the real draw. Like, uh, at first, a lot of people could have been like, ah, he's just got a bunch of guns and some explosions, and of course people want to see bombs go off and tanks do this stuff. But then you're like, well, then why do they want to see me paint? Why do they want to see me do this? And it's, it's your love for life. People I think, are attracted it, to that. I think it's because I'm, I'm like genuinely excited about things, like, like building the stairs in there. Like, I was so pumped to see those stairs go up, you know? And, and I think people feel that energy and they get excited about it too. And like, mm. we've got a really tight knit crowd. Like I, I feel like I'm like with them, they feel like they're a part of the channel. And so like, I think when I genuinely get excited, they feel that and they get excited too. And like, that just makes the videos fun for me to make. It makes them fun for people to watch, I think. And that's what I try to do. I try to keep it fun because it makes it, it makes it more fun for me. Yeah. Now, do you feel like one, one audience differs from the other in a major way? Uh, no, I think they're 75% the same audience. Yeah, I think I mean, there's some people who only want to see guns They could care less about the rest of it And there's some people that only want to see my family life or the the home renovation videos and they had they hate guns You know, right. so but I think 75% Probably are the same people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So th th it's basically th it's, it's you. Yeah. It's, it's you. That's cool, man. Well, that just made it seem like, yes, it's because I'm awesome. It's <laughs> no, basically because You're not I'm, saying that. The, the numbers are awesome. saying that. <laughs> it's because I'm so great, that's why it's happening. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You, you can, you, people, can, people can feel how they want, but when you I look at I drink a numbers. beer and a half, and I just start complimenting myself, basically. <laughs> I love you, man. I, I'm, I'm so awesome, guys. <laughs> well, I'm the one saying you're awesome, so you don't have to feel bad about it. There you go. And so... This is bad. This is a bad deal. It's good for us. Good for us. Some of us oh. weigh 400 pounds and some of us do not. <laughs> That's the whole point of the show. <laughs> if I could get you to chug as much as you can in three minutes, four minutes, <laughs> we'll have a good show. He'll say some weird stuff. That's Boom, true. that's a wrap. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we got him, boys. <laughs> we got him. He said something. We're good. That's all we need is like a 30-second clip of you saying something. Yeah. Just 
crazy. Me getting like getting way too into something. Some Conspir- tiger blood conspiracy stuff Conspiracy theories yeah, yeah, yeah. and things. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, it's right. It's going to happen. It's coming out. The government's after us. I, I try to hide it, but the government is coming. Aliens are real, bro. <laughs> My four-year-old son the other day, he was sitting down and he said something to me. And uh, he was like, he said something about how I had to do something. And I was like, what are you, the government? And he looked at me like I just took his soul. He was like, I'm not the government. How dare you? <laughs> You're four. How do you know that? Yeah. Well, the only the only thing I brought in, I told you I was I I didn't prepare for this. I wanted to sit down and talk, but in in times like there are today, it's 2020. It's really important for us to know our constitution. Sure. So I've actually I have a printed out one. I carry around with me. You carry it all the time. I do. I carry this all the time ever, for That's the last intense. the last two months. Just yep. because um, I think lately it's been important to know. I mean, we've been told when and where we're allowed to be, who we're allowed to work with, and yep. what's essential, what's not essential, yep. all these things, and it all gets really explained very easily right here. Yep. So I did start carrying this around, and you're the champion of the Second Amendment. Every time I look at this, I, I literally, I see your name in it, and I just wanted to, I wanted to say this. So uh, for those of you guys who don't know, this is the, the Constitution of the United States. And the Second Amendment it says, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. A well-regulated militia. I'd really, honestly, without these, I would ask the same question. I want to know how how that affects you and what that means to you. Sure. So, I mean, without getting too political, like, I think the last couple months have really shown that, like, I think everybody thought, it's fine, the government will take care of us forever, you know? And the last couple of months, everyone's been like, maybe we don't 100% agree with the government. And that's what the Second Amendment's for. The Second Amendment is in case anything happens where the government is not there to protect you, whether they're against you or whether they're just not there to protect you. The Second Amendment is there so you can protect yourself, so you and your like-minded group can protect themselves. And so, yeah, I, I think it's... I think these times lately have kind of shown a lot of people who were maybe on the fence, oh, that's what it's for. That's right. what the Second Amendment, that's, that's why it's there. I don't have a gun yet, but now I kind of want one. Like, there's a lot of people, I just saw the, the numbers, like, the most ever first-time gun owners, you know, yeah. just, just became gun owners in the last month or something. Like, right. They're saying that in, in most, uh, most Democrat-run states, they're completely sold out of yeah. everything. Everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, you can come to Texas and buy something because we're already stocked up here. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we were <laughs> talking true. about the display here, and Matt was saying he's going to have uh, a whole room dedicated to put guns on display where you can look through a bulletproof glass and see stuff. That was a secret, but and, it's fine. Oh really? No, you know, this you, won't come no, out till later. No, no, this is good. You, let's let's actually launch it on your channel. I'm actually cool with this. This yeah. is good. This is good. This won't come out for a couple of weeks. No, so this, don't this worry. is good. We'll launch it on your channel. Just Damn we're it. we're gonna have a little secret gun vault up at up at the bunker. It's gonna be sweet. It's but it's it's only some of the guns. An entire <laughs> room stocked full from floor to ceiling, high high ceilings, just just loaded with guns, and that's only some of his guns so in in texas you can come buy some if you need them still yeah you could probably buy them from me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mayor will be happy i've got four safes and i can't fit all my guns in them so oh. I, I need a, i need a vault yeah. badly and, and the and what i was getting at too is is i think what a lot of people are realizing with the second amendment is the second amendment is actually there to protect your first amendment yeah it's there to protect all the other amendments yep. when 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 I mean, I don't want to get too crazy into it, but right now with people protecting their stores and, and all that stuff, it's literally the, the prime example for why our founding fathers put that in there. Sure. And I think you've been the champion of that since before it was cool. Well, <laughs> and, you know, just like, like both sides of it, the, the guy protecting his store from protesters turned rioters, but also the protesters who are wanting to be peaceful and cops are coming in and knocking them over, you know, like exactly. And if and if they're actually peaceful and cops are coming in and doing too much, that's why they have militias, you know. And, and I'm not saying rise up, right? Like, of course, not. We're not there. No, we are no. not there. But I'm saying if you know it got ten times as bad, that's what it's for. Right. And so um, you you see a lot more peaceful protests when everybody's armed. 
sure, and that's yeah. that's just a fact. Sure. You know, it it, ke it keeps the police on their guard and on their best behavior, and it keeps the people on their best behavior. Yeah. And, and that's what it's all about. That's I think right now. I mean, if you listen, if you listen to people ne like never before, they're trying to tell everyone every family in America should have a firearm. Sure. Now. And there'd be a lot less break-ins if they knew whoever's in that house has a firearm. Yeah. Like you wouldn't go. Yeah, I'm gonna go steal that TV. You'd be like, uh, it's not worth it. Yeah. Uh, uh finish this off on, on a on a lighter note, and with with all the time that you've you've been doing the videos and and all the all the effort and coming from the the guy that I've seen on your first couple videos to the man that you are now, a completely different person, <laughs> completely different person. I love I love the old you. I freaking adore the new you. You've grown <laughs> into being. You're just more solidified who you are on the inside. You're a father with a, a, a bunch of great kids. You do a bunch of really cool stuff. And come on over here, Lincoln. You can come over if you want. <laughs> I want to know, do you think that your journey being documented like that, like, that, of course, that wasn't what your purpose was. Can you see how... A lot of people can follow along with that process and kind of find themselves through it. Like, like for me, I can see someone who didn't really know exactly who they were, and b by the time you get to now, you're so much, you're so much more confident in yourself, and you're so sure. much more, you're you're just able to be you all the time, and it's it's inspiring. And and I don't, I don't think you ever meant to be this long time lapse of sure. how to become a man, but you know, I mean. When Lincoln looks at those videos and stuff and sees how you've grown, have you have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about that? <clears throat> um, no, I mean not like as in depth as that. No, but I mean like I had a I had a really good upbringing. Like I I had no hardships. Um, I had a good a good solid family of two parents that worked hard and loved me and supported me. And I know a lot of people don't. And so I like showing that I'm trying to do that with my kids. I like showing that I'm trying to be a good person, a good man for my family. And for those people who don't have like, you know, they don't have that guidance as much. You know, a lot of, a lot of young kids maybe don't have that family around them and don't have that guidance. And I, I kind of like to show them what I think uh, a good family looks like. I'm not saying we're perfect by any means, but I think we're a good family. And, and we're sh trying to strive for, for better every day. You know, we're trying to be better people and have better lives every day. And, and that, that's what I try to do every day in my normal life. And so my videos kind of reflect that, I would say. Yeah. Um, and hopefully my kids learn that and hopefully we can influence some, some of the youth growing up in the future that will, you know, see my videos and say, that guy, he, he did a good job. I want to try to do that. Yeah. You know, that, that's, that's really what it all comes down to in the end. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say you've done that, brother. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I think you're doing it, too. <laughs> well, I, I really thank you for being on here. Guys, go check out Demo Ranch. Check out Off the Ranch. Obviously, you know him. He's the king, the man, the godfather of the Second Amendment. Thank you, Matt. Thanks. Can you drive me home? It, Lincoln's got us. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs>